Mobbing on the streets and robbing stores and ski masks, bruh. Niggas that's for peace and the riot to bring violence. Cause it's a game of cat and mouse and you gon' bleed silent. What's the justice in saying fuck it and what is going on, everybody? Swabby Games are back, and today we're going to be talking about more King of the Court. Now, before we get started with today's video, I want you guys to go in the comment section down below and ask me a question about basketball, my NBA, my life, anything, because tomorrow I will be holding a press conference. I did it last year, and it seemed to get a lot of support, so all you have to do is just leave a question. That's pretty much it. If you're interested, you don't have to, but it would really help the video out. So without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Now, this is submitted by Cameron Grant. Of course, his YouTube and Twitter will be in the link, as always, when he sends me gameplay. And I'm just going to take a look at this gameplay, you know, see some strategies he's using and, you know, try to make the most out of it. He's going very quickly. So, you know, as you can see, he knows what he's doing. A very experienced guy. You know, even when I had a really good deck last year, I took King of the Court games very slowly because, you know, you're playing on a timer. You're not really playing to your, you know, your looks. You know, you're not playing to your personality. You know, you're just playing to the game nights that are given. But, you know, you can see he's just speeding along, you know, with ease, you know, right here. I mean, this gameplay isn't sped up or anything. This is just straight him playing right here, you know, just going after Gortat. Offense, defense, you know, nice and easy. He gets the win. And then the last card you could see. He has one card left, you know, you know, you're going through it easy if you go to the last card with two cards, but he's not going to need it right here, you know, looks like he's going to drop uh, Randall, yeah, Julius Randall, who's actually improved his game a lot, that's a nice card by him, only 12 points earned, so he's not hot streaking, 24 points is, you know, I mean, it's just unlucky, but it's not bad, I mean, if you don't get the, you know, double teams that you want, and keep in mind, I have not played this for myself, and I'm going to be honest, I do miss it, I really do, but at the end of the day, I'm saving so much time, I'm spending time with my friends and family, and just doing things that I never really could do during the weekends, because I was dedicating it to my NBA events, but there's nothing wrong with that, everybody that's grinding these events, everybody that gets that Chris Tatsprazingis card, you have to realize, you know, that you're one of what 400 people in the world that have that card or getting that card and that's really not a, an easy task you know because everything above a thousand is if you get that rank then there's nothing there's nothing good about that you know there's nothing impressive about that but if you're getting below the thousands you know whether or not this game is small or not man that's a huge accomplishment so even to, and to be an elite tier too is a big accomplishment you know so shout out to Cameron, shout out to all the guys watching this that are, and if you are above a thousand and you're playing and you're enjoying the game, then there's also nothing wrong with that too, because you know, the game is about grinding, spending money, and just having a good time. If you're doing any three of those, then you're using the app to your best success. So for King of the Court, he has 171 personal points, so this is towards the beginning of when he started, probably his... This is probably his sixth game, or what would it be, sixth? Yeah, this is around his fifth or sixth game that he's played. Maybe, actually, no, that would maybe, it depends, because normally the lowest points that you're going to get without hot streaking is 12, so, I mean, I don't really know, but regardless, man, you know, I am I know he told me that he wasn't going for the Brazingas card, and you can't blame him, because he finished 99th, which is something that I've never done in my life, you know, the closest that I've ever finished was, like, was a uh, 195th in Rivals Clash, and that was like towards the the middle of this uh, Rivals Clash in 2017 last year. So we are in 2017. I guess 2016, you could say. Or actually, what am I saying? Oh yeah, 2016. So yeah, I mean, pretty interesting. So nice job to Cameron. You know, my goal this year was to finish within 101 Rivals Clash, but if I were to do that, I would have to spend money. I know he probably put in like 20, 25 bucks, which. I'm sure most people put in even more than that, so that's really good, but he had the credits on his account, so, yeah, I believe he used exactly, so that's 500, because I think he has, like, 2,300 credits now, so that means that, I guess he used 2,700, so, pretty interesting right here, oh, wow, he's, yeah, he's watching the ads to get picks, can't really blame him, but, you know, I don't want to put too many ads in the video, so hopefully this just doesn't run for too long because you know i'm not going to advertise freely to people it's not like no way anyway is going to go and download this but it's still a free ad you know so all right yeah we'll just fast forward this strange is happening with my editing program it looks like it's working now but yeah i definitely want to get a new one because this one is just so glitchy and really isn't that great so this gameplay on the screen right now is actually like 10 minutes ahead of what you just watched but like i said i had a technical difficulty i had to throw in a clip once I fast forwarded those picks, what, first of all, it didn't even fast forward, and second of all, the next clip after that just completely disappeared, so this is a little head you could see, you know, before 
you know the points went off but it's all right man you know we're not really focused on the gameplay too much we're more focused on my voice and me talking about what's going on i mean like i said i can't speak too much on it but all i can say is that you know if you play a lot this event you know i mean if you think about it if you finish like under a thousand you know you get a you get that marcus Saul and tyler johnson right uh, okay i'm trying to remember my memory i haven't really been looking at it but if you, like if t let's be real i mean if you're playing this game every day or at least a, a, t a lot you know a good amount those cards don't really help you because they're not a duplicate and unless you pull a duplicate those cards aren't going to be in use for you i mean they might be at the end of your 25 man deck or they might be at the end of your season but that's not going to really do much because you know you're either looking for epic prime pros i mean Honestly, you're probably just looking for Epic Prime Pros. I mean, yes, an Elite card helps you, but I cannot stress how much times last year that I was able to get the highest tier available, like a normal card. And if you can't sell it on the auction house, then it has no use because the chance of you getting a, a dupe for that is, are so low. You know, I haven't seen anybody really been... I mean, I remember I've seen a few people pull Brook Lopez, but since then, I haven't seen anybody pull him. And they do that on purpose. They're not going to, you know, give you an increased chance to pull a dupe in your deck. They're going to most likely make it impossible for you, you know? So, and that's actually a fact because I've been playing this game for so long. And I don't, I'm not even sure if I've ever pulled a card that from the Rivals Clash. Just say like, say Dwayne Wade, you know, you get LeBron and Dwayne Wade. Now you get the event card LeBron, you get the normal playoff Dwayne Wade. I don't, I've never pulled a Dwayne Wade, you know, even like dating all the way to the end of the game, even if it's a legendary and then star comes out and i'm playing in star playoff i've never even pulled that legendary doing weight and, and sometimes like i've just said okay to this point i'm just gonna just train him away and then like the next day i'll pull the card that's happened to me a few times I, I literally will pull that card but it doesn't mean anything because i trained it away and it probably sounds like some bs but i'm actually being completely honest with you guys this game is difficult and the only way to get better in this game especially without an auction house is to just grind events and it's a lot of time i mean you're dedicating friday to sunday night of playing this app i don't care what event it is especially road of the championship and king of the court that's dedicating the most time and it's very disappointing i mean very sad because like i said before in some of my videos i'm a guy that you know oh what happened to the gameplay oh this recording oh my god this editing software man excuse me what time is it currently uh, all right thank you oh shit run Getting ready for Halloween early. But everyone's laughing. It's funny. <laughs> Alright guys, so those clips you just saw are in a video that will be dropping very shortly on my channel today and my second channel. I'll talk more about my second channel in the future, but right now let's get back to King of the Court, so... I want to talk a bit about preseason now. Some names that stand out. Kyle Kuzma, Ben Simmons, Chris Paul, Kyrie Irving, and Marcus Smart. Those are the names that I've been seeing the most of. So if you're a fan of any of those guys, you could know that they're doing really well. And they're looking like they've put in a lot of work this offseason. Especially, you know, Kyle Kuzma. He's actually fifth in preseason points. Which doesn't mean much because it's the preseason and he's going to get big minutes. But still really cool because if you think about it if the lakers never traded for brooke lopez then they wouldn't have got that 27th pick was it or 26th pick and that means that they wouldn't have drafted kyle kuzma so you get not only do you trade you know d'angelo russell you didn't need you pick up brooke lopez kyle kuzma and they got a did they get someone else i think that was it i don't know maybe i'm missing something but regardless man that's such a, a deal almost because d'angelo russell he's He's huge for the Nets because he can score, you know, he can run the the floor, you know, he's a, that's pretty much it. He scores and he can, you know, run point and, you know, distribute. I mean, he averaged, you know, around 18 and, and 6 when Kobe was gone, you know, in the second half of the season, so, or even the whole season when Kobe was gone. So he's a guy that puts up numbers, but... I mean, Lonzo Ball, it was a no-brainer to draft him. You know, D'Angelo Russell didn't want them to draft him, but Lonzo Ball right now is better than D'Angelo Russell, and he has the potential to be a superstar. D'Angelo Russell may not even be an all-star. He's going to be a really good player if everything works out, but I don't think he's ever going to be an all-star unless, you know, he just tears it up and turns into 
you know, Mike Conley Jr. or something similar to that, but we'll see what happens. He's such a young player, you know, maybe I could be completely wrong, but oh uh, yeah, Cameron, I know, I'm pretty sure Cameron's going to be watching this. Next time you send gameplay, you know, definitely, uh, I mean, I understand why you're watching the ads because they make sense, you know, you get more picks, but you know, I don't really want to put free ads in my videos, so yeah, man, uh, no disrespect though. Thanks for the gameplay, man. All right, let's see if he can pull anything right here. I haven't seen this gameplay yet, so I'm watching it just like you guys for the first time. Can't believe it's only Saturday, man. It feels like a Sunday. Swaggy Sunday will be tomorrow, but, you know, we're going to, I'm probably going to turn it into something new. The funny thing is, you know, I haven't said Thunder Up's name in a while. He actually criticized me for saying Swaggy Sunday, but now he does Thunder Thursdays. Like, he said it was the most unoriginal idea he's ever seen, but it's, I thought that was funny. I saw he, I don't even watch his videos anymore. There's literally no point for me to watch other Miami YouTubers, man. All I need to do is get my videos out and, and move on, which is kind of sad, but it's really the truth, so... We'll see, though. That Lonzo MVP looks so sweet, man. You should... Cameron should put uh, Markel Fultz as MVP, though, because less people have that. You know, you're looking at, what, 800 people in the game that have Lonzo Ball right now, so definitely put that Fultz, man. Only, you know, 100 people in the game have that. You're hardly going to see that. You know, you're only going to see it from, like, the best players, so... All right, here we go. Yeah, I am working on a lot of content today. You know, since yesterday I didn't put out a video, and the day before I think I put out one video. So, yeah, man, I might let like I'm. It's, it's already getting really late. I mean, so I may just put some music for you guys to just relax in the background because I don't have much to say, and this clip adds up to a ton of time for a video, my NBA video. So I'm gonna sign here, guys. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in a little bit. I have. Probably three more videos coming out today. De at least two videos coming out today that I already know of, but three may be a possibility. And I will see you guys when I see you guys. Catch you later. This is Game. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in a little bit. Peace.